Hi, my name is Sandra Scott, and this is for my Education 330 class, Social Injustice in the Classroom. Um, what does it mean to be a culturally competent educator? To be culturally competent, an educator needs to leave their own stereotypes and biases at the door. Uh, an educator should be fully aware of their own implicit bias and work against that. And it's really one of the most important things that I think an educator can do is to really get to know and understand the culture of the students that are in, in the classroom. Uh, where do you see yourself on the cultural competency continuum? I've definitely gone from cultural deniance or indifference to cultural, cultural pre-competence. Pre I used to believe that if we recognized that other that people were different, that it would just perpetuate the divide amongst people. I used to really push the idea that we're all the same, that everybody deserves the same thing, and and but that's not true. And I recognize that. Um, I recognize that by me pushing that belief system, that's really just me uh, choosing not to acknowledge my the own the my own privilege. Um, I was choosing not to see problems that were there. Uh, after working in Alaska and seeing the Alaska Native culture almost completely eradicated even amongst Alaska Natives, um, I think I've become much more aware of cultural appropriation and uh, destruction. It's really upsetting to know that 50 years ago a student could come to school and speak their own indigenous language and then they would be punished for that. It's also upsetting to know that even today in, in this society, Alaska Native students are not expected to amount to much. They, they don't have as high, like educators don't have as high expectations for those students. Although I will say that um, there is a movement within the Alaska schools and the Alaskan government to change that. And they are bringing more culture and cultural acceptance back to the classrooms. And the government of Alaska is working to bring more, um, more of the Alaskan culture back, just back to Alaska as well. What will it take for me to get to the next step or deepen my cultural competence? Um, I feel like I've, I've taken a lot of steps, especially working with uh, John Keto at William Tyson Elementary in Anchorage, Alaska. We worked in a neighborhood called Mountain View, which is the most diverse neighborhood in all of the United States. Um, working with John, who's dedicated his life to cultural acceptance and bringing culture back into schools, um, that's really where I took the steps and began to become more uh, competent in, in cultural diversity. Um, I believe that if I had an administration to work with, that really gave me the tools that, that I felt like I needed and the training that I needed for cultural diversity. I could push that knowledge further and I would just feel more comfortable, uh, knowing that I would be able to meet the needs of cultural, culturally diverse students. What are some specific research, readings, tools, resources, and training I might use to further my cultural competence? I'd really like to have a classroom of cultural responsive teaching. Um, I when it, I really think that having a diverse curriculum is important and working with my administration to have a diverse curriculum. Um, again, building the relationships with families to really get a glimpse and build that bridge of cultural differences and to see those family dynamics. And another tool that I could personally use is to go to the museum and, or the libraries or even the, um, the college lectures that we have in our city about cultural diversity to just really immerse, immerse myself in it and learn. What will it look like to have a culturally inclusive classroom in the future? Um, one of the big things that um, I've talked about is um, those relationships that I would build, but also a curriculum, having a more diverse curriculum and not have um, such a biased curriculum would, would probably be something that I would strive for. Uh, another thing that would be uh, really important is to make sure I'm aware of my own implicit biases and to make sure that when when my students answer a question that I'm offering the same amount of time to all students to, to, to offer or to answer that question 
or if a student needs more time to answer, and I'm aware of that, to give the student that time to answer so that they can feel comfortable in knowing that I'm there to support them. Another thing that I could make sure that I'm doing in the future is to be sure that I'm praising my students, all of my students, and offering the same level of praise for the same level of work per student. Um, not that everybody has to be the same, but just, just making sure that all of my students feel praised and accepted in my classroom. Um, another component to that would be to teach my students to question when they feel like there's an injustice, to not be afraid to come to me and if they feel like there's some type of injustice, not only in our, my classroom, but in our school and in our society as well, to use that critical thinking and question when things just don't feel right. Uh, how will I ensure I'm respecting students as individuals with differing personal backgrounds and various skills, abilities, perspective, talents, interests? Um, as I said before, develop that relationship with families. I really think that that's one of the most important things when, when there's a cultural divide. Um, it's really important to get to, to know the families so that you can start understanding them. Another thing that I um, learned from working in Mountain View is it's important to know the demographic of the school, of the neighborhood of the school that you're gonna be working at. Really know who lives in your neighborhood, where where those people come from, and what, that, what the socioeconomical uh, background of the neighborhood is as well. Um, is also really one of the most vital things that you can do for your students is to grant empathy and compassion to all of the students in your classroom.